Good morning uh, to all of our subscribers. Uh, Future Trend Channel is back uh, with uh, our version of analysis of uh, how to trade uh, major currencies in the world financial markets for the date of 21st September 2018. At the moment, uh, the situation uh, in the world financial markets uh, should be described as a uh, continuous uh, uh, falling uh, in the price of the United States currency amid an ebb in the trading tensions between the United States and China. In such a kind of environment, investors are seeking other um, um, opportunities how to invest its, uh, their money and uh, they are moving uh, from the United States dollar into uh, some other currencies. Amid them, uh, one of the most beneficiaries at the moment is uh, uh, Euro crosses, where in, uh, in the Euro yen, for example, uh, we really see a uh, rather good um, upside movement at the moment. Also, some other cross, uh, some other pairs like Euro dollar or antipodean currencies like Australian dollar or New Zealand dollar are on the rising path at the moment and uh, that's not uh, should be a kind of surprise uh, for all of you taking into account for that for a long period of time the United States dollar uh, was really quite supported uh, from the point of view of its uh, safe haven status and now taking uh, um, into account uh, uh, current uh, kind of uh, an ebb in the uh, risk tensions regarding trading relations between the United States and China, uh, we could see some continuous uh, weakness in the United States dollar price. Let's see and uh, uh, let's try to understand where the major currencies could go in the foreseeable future. As regarding the euro dollar, uh, really, it's a uh, uh, really um, a very interesting uh, kind of technical picture at the moment because yesterday we finally break, uh, we finally broke above uh, um, a kind of tough uh, resistance barrier located uh, uh, between 117 and 11750. You know that for a long period of time uh, the euro uh, found a uh, heavy selling interest above 117 barrier now we are trading above uh, 117 uh, we moved our stop loss on existing euro dollar position to below 117.20 for some of you who would like to be more uh, safe uh, probably it's it will be better to put a stop below 117 the figure we're still targeting the level of 118.40. Uh, from the point of view of longer term speaking, uh, approaching at the barrier 119.10, uh, where lies another a resistance barrier, and uh, this resistance barrier, by the way, coinciding at the moment with the moving average 200 daily line located uh, around 119.15. All in all, also you could see on the daily chart a kind of head and shoulders pattern. And in case of a really changing the situation into more bullish, um, into more bullish side, the pair should break above a uh, psychologically important barrier 120 and also above 121. Uh, successful closing above 121 could uh, change the situation and could reverse the euro dollar to its former bullish trend we uh, witnessed uh, during uh, the period of uh, 2017 uh, beginning of 2018 the same applies by the way uh, for the cable the cable is quite supported right now uh, from the point of view of economic picture because as you could see the final uh, the latest economic um, news was uh, quite encouraging for the cable supporters for the cable bulls uh, because uh, both of cpi or to, uh, yesterday's uh, retail sales numbers were uh, much higher than expo than expected and also taking into account uh, uh, kind of positives uh, uh, recent positives regarding relations between Bre uh, uh, britain 
and UK uh, and excuse me and European Union and the possible signing sooner signing of a trade agreement between two economies uh, that means that uh, the cable could receive some further support starting uh, from now but uh, from a longer term point of view the cable should remain uh, quite weak while trading both below its moving average 200 daily line located at 134.85 and below a so-called head and shoulders a right a shoulder resistance are located around 136.50. Dollar Swiss uh, is uh, um, also is uh, under the pressure, continuing uh, selling pressure at the moment. Here the situation should remain uh, quite uh, encouraging for the uh, pair while we are trading below its uh, moving average 200 daily line located at uh, roughly uh, around 97.50 that's why uh, we suggest to put a stop also below uh, above 0.87 on existing short trade recommendation and uh, as regarding some other mm, uh, for example uh, regarding euro crosses as uh, we already mentioned uh, the euro yen is really uh, very supporting at the moment and very looking uh, really very strong uh, first of all we closed uh, this uh, week above moving average 200 daily line also if we uh, take into account a uh, longer term chart we are trading both above 200 uh, weekly Mm, moving average as well as 55 weekly moving average we break above this line as well um, this week and that's uh, also should support should support the euro yen and uh, probably in the time ahead we could see some further resolution to the upside uh, from this pair we wish you a pleasant and profitable closing of this week ladies and gentlemen and once again we suggest that it's time to sell the united states currency and uh, we expect some further weakness in the price of the united states dollar coming into next week have a nice weekend bye bye for now it was your future trend channel